Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide Mohammed Niaz with you. Today we're gonna see how to upload PST to Office 365 users mailbox. So to begin with PST upload, you need three things to be completed. That is Office 365 subscription, verification of your domain and set up your domain for MX records. Then create username and password. So if you want guidance for these three steps, then refer the video link below in the description. In this video, we're going to start from uploading PST to Office 365 users mailbox. First step is to assign necessary roles to the administrator for importing PST to Office 365 account. For that, open admin center. Then from the left side, go to Setup, then Data Migration. Here you can see Upload PST Files. It takes you to another page, another security compliance interface. And here you can see you must be assigned to the mailbox import export role in Exchange Online and it take 24 hours. So once you assign the role, it take another 24 hours. So let's log into Exchange Admin Center. You can see the Exchange Admin Center URL is outlook.office365.com. Then go to Permissions. Then click on Admin Roles. Then click on Add button. Then enter a name for the role. For example, import and export role, something like that. Then add roles. A new list pop up for you. Uh, from there you go and choose import and export role. Mailbox import export, then click OK. Now you have to assign members to that role group. For that, add your administrator account here it is g admin then click on save now it take another 24 hours to get this action effective so that you have to do it before 24 hours or you have to wait the next 24 hours to get this done once you completed with the role assignment then we can start PST upload to Office 365. It is not a straight process, it requires some steps. So what you have to do is you have to keep your PST ready in any of your server. Then you install Azure Storage Copy application in your server. Once you install Azure Storage Copy, then Office 365 provide you a SaaS URL to connect your file server to Azure Blob Storage. Then you can copy or you can upload this PST to Azure Blob Storage using SAS URL. Once you complete the upload to Azure Blob Storage, the next step is to import the PST to Office 365. For that, you need to create a map file. Map file is a CXV file which includes the PST name and the account name and other details like where you have to import to send items or inbox or as archive like that. So once you prepare the map file, then you can start importing your PST from blob storage to Office 365. Let us see one by one how to execute all these steps. Now the warning related to the permission has disappeared so you can create a new import job then give a meaningful name here then click next. So our plan is to upload data so just select upload data then click next. So here you can see in the second option show network upload SAS URL then in the third one you can download the azure az copy so let's see the sas url as i said this is the combination uh, url which contain uh, the upload network upload url and also the uh, signature key 
so now you can see sas url key copy it and uh, paste it in a notepad You need to keep this information uh, very confidential because you are going to upload your data to this location. Now we can copy Azure AZ copy. Now install this in any uh, server where you have your PST also uh, copied. So let's install. For the demonstration, I'm going to use my Active Directory server. So I'm installing this in. Active Directory because this is a temporary uh, one-time process after that I can uninstall this wizard so now I completed with the Azure AZ copy installation and also I got my SAS URL to upload the PST to Azure storage we have two methods you can do it through PowerShell commands and also you can do it through Azure storage explorer Let's see the both methods. So for the first time, I'm going to show to you how to upload using uh, PowerShell. So this is the command that we need to run as your copy, then mention the location, then the SAS URL that we just copied, then the log location. So this is the SAS URL that we copied uh, from the previous step. So replace it, uh, uh, the destination. All right, now let's uh, give a log file location. Now we need to specify the source. So here when you look at the C drive, you can see there is a folder called PST. Uh, there contain all the PSTs that I would need to upload. So you can give a proper permission uh, that is required to, to access this data. Now enter the source address here. So it's DC1 slash PST. Make sure you shared with the proper permission to upload this one. Now copy the command. Then open Azure storage copy. For that uh, go to start menu. Then expand the application. You can see Microsoft Azure storage copy paste it there then click enter you can see the status here speed and uh, number of files completed and all based upon the size of the data this may take some time to complete so for the demonstration I'm using very small PSTs so it won't take uh, much time here so it has completed two PST files has transferred to Azure storage So next we're gonna see how to upload the PSTs with Azure Storage Explorer. This is much more easier than the uh, PowerShell command. So you need to download Azure Storage Explorer. That is completely free. Then install it. Then click finish. You need a uh, .NET Framework also, so that uh, install .NET Framework 4.6.2 or later. So let's do that also. Then let's open Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer. So here you have to enter the shared access signature URL. There is a fourth option, so click there and click next. So click on use a shared access signature URL, then click next. Select use. So here you have to copy the SAS URL that we copied in the second step. Or you can get it from 
protection.office.com then go to the server then enter the URL here then click next connect it so now you can see this are the a PST that we just uploaded so you can also upload it from here you can see there is options to to upload a PST here so this is much more easier I just show you both methods so based upon uh, your interest you can choose one of the method to upload your PST The next step is to create a PXT import mapping file. For that, when you go to the Microsoft documentation, you will get a sample file. You need to prepare a file like this. So what is going to happen here is you uploaded your PSTs to Azure storage. So this step, you're going to say that this PST belongs to this user. So once you upload this PST mapping file to Microsoft Office 365, file, then they will start importing your PST from Azure storage to Office 365. So you can download a copy of uh, import mapping file from here. So this include uh, workload, then file path, then name of the PST file, then username, does this include archive or uh, is it just directly import to the inbox? Then uh, target root folder, you can see that uh, outlook file analyzer. So those are the columns that you need to fill up for uploading or for mapping the PST to user mailbox. So look at the example of what I have for my Look at my example. I just put exchange as my workload. Then I removed a target root folder details. I don't have any archive. Uh, I don't want to put this in archives. So just mailbox, then PST name. That is all what I have. So I'm going to save this and uh, upload this. So you're done with the map file. So for the next step, go to protection.office.com. Then you agree here that you uploaded your PST that we did to the blob storage using Azure storage copy command prompt or through URL. Then you have access to mapping file. Yes, you prepared your mapping file also. So it's time to click next. Then select mapping file import the mapping file that we just created you can click to validate it so my mapping file has successfully done with the validation you can click save then close the wizard you can see analysis in progress so the analysis has completed now it's time to import the content into Office 365. So for that, go and click on ready to import to Office 365. Click import to Office 365. I want to import everything. I'm not going to do any filtering at this point. Then you can see the content size here. Just click import data and close the wizard now you have to wait for some time you can see the progress uh, here the status is showing there both the user PSTs are in progress you can refresh here to see the status now the PST upload has completed so we have done with the PST upload if you want to verify the PST upload, then go to outlook.office365. It's look like Exchange uh, 2016 or 2019 interface. So from there, select the user and go to mailbox usage. You can see 
uh, the content size there you can verify by this way because i just uploaded 400 mb uh, to two mailboxes and i can see uh, equal to that in the user mailbox usage so this is how you can verify after you upload your uh, PST to office 365 account so thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe our youtube channel